What's up, everyone? Welcome to another episode of Your Drone Questions Answered. I'm David Young, still your host for this one. In this episode, I want to talk about New Jersey drones. I guess New Jersey and New York. I cannot tell you how many times people have asked me about this. So I figured might as well put out a quick podcast episode addressing the subject. I have been hit up twice by random media outlets. Hey, will you come on our show and be the drone expert? Because we want to talk about these drone sightings in New Jersey. I've not taken them up on that because I'm like, what am I going to tell you that you don't already know? You know what I'm saying? So anyways, and then I've just had message from students. I have teachers that for some of the schools we work with texting me like, hey, what's going on with this? So let's just throw a post out there. I know people are curious about it. So I'll tell you at least what I can see and I'll give you some opinions on what I think I wouldn't even say what I think is going on. Some opinions on some of the things I'm seeing. I'm pretty hesitant to like speak definitively on everything just because really people don't really know. It's hard to say, oh, it's this, you know, it's these people are spying on us or it's it's this type of activity or here's what it is. There's so many theories flying around out there. So I'll address some of what other people think it is, some of what the official statements have said from different government agencies, and then a couple facts or circumstances to consider at least to maybe narrow in on what it could possibly be, all right? I welcome your comments below on what you think is going on, what you think these drones are, what this activity is. Now, first off, I'm in Florida. I'm outside of Tampa, Florida, so I'm not in New Jersey. So it's hard for me to know what's going on there. I'm not actually looking at it. All you see are things that are posted online, pictures, videos, things like that. I have gone on the internet to be like, what evidence is there? What videos have people gotten? And maybe you've seen more than I have. I saw something that there's been more than 5,000 reported drone sightings. So obviously I don't have photos of all those, but I went on X and just my LinkedIn page, right? To see what does it look like? I'm screen sharing here that you'll be able to see if you are on the YouTube version of this. If not, what you're seeing, I think when people decided to film these drones, they said, what is the worst possible quality video footage I can get? And let me be as shaky as possible. That way it is almost (laughs) impossible to figure out what is going on here. Every video I see looks like it's been taken by a four-year-old toddler who's running at full speed. It's dark, it's grainy. I didn't know they made video cameras this bad, but let's see that. They're just, some of them just look like bright lights. So what I've pretty consistently seen is drones flying at night or something flying at night. I don't even want to say drones, something at flying at night. Typically they have lights on, so they'll have their navigation lights on, strobes, some type of lighting capability. So for me right off the bat, that tells me, hey, if these drones are flying around, if these are drones, and if they're flying around, it's probably not a foreign adversary. I'm not a big military guy, but I would imagine that if you're trying to spy on another country, you're going to try to do that pretty surreptitiously. So you're probably not going to light your drone up with every light that you have strobe lights, navigation lights, all that stuff. So it looks like probably not someone spying on you. I imagine these are not foreign threats right off the bat. Uh, I know that it seems there's been difficulty in identifying exactly what these drones are. All these different reports I've seen, I'll get into one here in a minute. They're not really identifying anything specifically. But you gotta imagine if this was a foreign adversary, our military would figure that out pretty quickly and they would shoot it down from the sky pretty quickly. That hasn't happened. So I imagine it's not that. What's curious to me is that these drones are typically only spotted at night or whatever's flying is only spotted at night. And for most drone applications, unmanned aircraft applications, you are wanting to do stuff during the day. That's when the widest range for like, you know, mapping, photogrammetry, I guess you could do LIDAR at night, but why would you? Thermography is really the only thing that benefits from nighttime activities. And maybe if you were filming something at night, I'm not sure. So let's jump over here real quick. This was put out two days ago. I'm filming this on December 18th. You'll probably see this December 19th. Two days ago from today, December 16th, Department of Homeland Security, FBI, and FAA, and the Department of Defense released a joint statement. In a nutshell, they're like, hey, there's like a million drones in the United States. A bunch of people are operating lawfully. So, you know, FBI received 5,000 drone sighting tips. We generated 100 leads. We're looking into it, essentially, to see what's going on. We assessed it, and they say is, quote, a combination of lawful commercial drones, hobbyist drones, and law enforcement drones, as well as manned fixed-wing aircraft, helicopters, and STARS, mistakenly reported as drones. I thought that was a kind of a funny one. We have not identified anything anomalous and do not assess the activity to date to present a national security or public safety risk over the civilian airspace in New Jersey or other states in the Northeast. And they say, well, that said, we want to expand our counter UAS, yada, 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 report stuff to us. It's basically saying, hey, we looked into it. Nothing bad is going on. Another thing to consider, if you hop over here to X slash Twitter, I see people posting about something, a briefing from the Pentagon where they're saying, hey, 
you know, we had this briefing. Someone said, well, why is why are you guys doing this in a classified briefing? I guess there was a classified briefing, and he doesn't really say why. So then people freak out. Oh, it's classified. Something bad's going on. And again, some of these videos are hard because they're joke videos. So I have to just decipher which ones are like actually real people that have recorded things. Anyways, this has really captured the attention of a lot of people. So I think what a lot of people are seeing, I saw some other photos that I can't find now, I saw them before, that clearly just look like manned aircraft. Very large aircraft with all their lights on. It just looks like an airplane in the sky from the ones I've seen online. So I think that's a decent number of them, like it was stated in that report. I've seen other ones where people took a picture of this like helicopter looking thing, like, oh, that's a drone. And then I saw another side-by-side -side of an actual manned helicopter that I think might've been the exact one. And it's just a manned helicopter. So manned aviation happens at night all of the time. People want to fly around, people are traveling, whatever. So we can put that in one category. There's probably some manned aviation going on and people are just more attuned to, hey, let's look up. I've heard about these drones. Maybe they're seeing more of it now. So there's that. But clearly I've seen some that do look like drones that are flying around and hovering in different places. Again, it could just be random people out there having fun. It seems like that would not be the case at this high volume, you know, like with how many that we've seen. If I were to just do wild speculation, I would imagine it's some type of law enforcement activity or some other type of government activity that they are looking for something, a person, something else, I don't know, that they probably would rather not disclose for, I don't know, maybe it's some national security case they got going on, Maybe something else they don't want to learn people. Who knows? There's not a whole lot else makes sense why you would have a high number of drones out and why they would only be out at night because I haven't seen many complaints about this happening like during the day. I mean, I've maybe seen like one or two videos of during the day, but most of them seem at night. And the applications for using drones at night just are more limited. So it's just, it's confusing. That's probably my best answer. It's probably some law enforcement activity or some government activity. They're looking for something. They don't want to freak people out. I think they'd probably freak people out less if they just kind of talked about it. If that was the case, I could be 100% wrong. I don't know. I'm in Florida. This is in New Jersey. But just from what I've seen, that's what I've seen. But from what I've read about and what I've seen, I saw one guy say that they're looking for missing nukes. Who knows? Maybe that's the case. There's so many different like conspiracy theory rabbit holes you could try to go down with this. Uh, but what I don't think it is, I don't think it's some foreign country spying on us. I don't think you should start shooting them out of the sky because that's a federal crime. I saw a video of somebody getting arrested for that the other day. Don't do that. And I think it seems that the frequency, it's more than just random recreational aircraft. So I, I don't know. That's the answer. That's why I did not volunteer to go in any of these news outlets, because what am I just going to say to them? Yeah, I'm not sure. Another question we get asked is, why can't we tell what these are? Why can't we just pick it up and know? If you're relying on some of the traditional methods we have of identifying these things, the main one that comes to everyone's mind is remote ID. Well, the problem is, A, not all drones will have remote ID broadcast modules on them. And many of the ones that do, they're pretty short range. Some of them are Bluetooth, some of them are Wi-Fi. You gotta be pretty close. It's not very reliable. It's kind of hit or miss with remote ID, whether they can pick these up or not. And again, if someone's doing nefarious activity, they're probably not gonna equip their drone with remote ID, shocker. But that's why you probably can't rely on remote ID too much for these. And anybody can sort of get remote ID receiver apps, things like that. So you would imagine that people in New Jersey would have this, or at least figure this out, somebody would, and would pick that up if that was a viable option. So I haven't really seen much in the way of remote ID being able to identify these. Some government agencies said they've sent up drone detection stuff and they've said not a threat, which again means to me, it's probably a mixture of all those things going on that they mentioned. One thing I'll end with is that it seems that the US is a bit underprepared in terms of counter UAS capabilities, at least from what is seen in the public eye. The fact that they can't quickly come out and say, hey, here's what these drones are, here's what we know about it, here's why you do or don't need to be worried about it. The fact that we can't pretty quickly do that, and it seems like there's no agency that's necessarily directly responsible for the mitigation of drones, to me means there's some confusion, not clear policy, so I imagine this will accelerate some of that conversation and hopefully lead to some more progress in that area. But at any rate, I'm interested to see what comes of all this drones over New Jersey talk. I'm sorry, I don't really have more conclusive answers for you. I don't want to tell you it's one thing and just start making stuff up, obviously. But best thing I have for you is this Homeland Security report and just some of my thoughts in general. Take it or leave it, not claiming this to be correct or incorrect. But let me know what you think below. I'd be interested to hear some other theories out there or if there's some other things that I haven't thought of. Until next time, see you later.